Hi everyone, welcome to my studio. Today we're going to do an advanced level mat class and I want to keep it pretty quick paced. So make sure you do what is safe and appropriate for your body. We're going to start in a seated position. I'm going to bring the soles of the feet together. I'm going to allow the knees to open up as much as they can. You just feel that kind of movement loosening in the hip joint. I want you to place the hands on top of the shins or the knees, whichever works best for you. Making sure that you've got that nice spinal position. Just draw those shoulders back. Move that neck around for a moment. We're going to do a nice deep inhale. And as we exhale, we're going to do a spinal stretch forward. Inhale there. And as you exhale, bring it back to the beginning. We'll do that two more times. We inhale at the top. We exhale. Inhale there. And all the way up. And we'll do it one more time. Breathe in. Breathe in there, and roll it up. Rotate your trunk to your right. Take your right hand behind you. Use that left arm to give you a little bit of assistance to get a little bit more rotation. And then we'll go to the opposite way. And two more. Rotate. We're moving the body warming it up and let's do one more time rotate and last one rotate and come back to center go ahead and straighten the legs stretch forward for a moment feel that back maybe feel those hamstrings a little bit i know i do i'm going to roll it up bend those knees all the way down. We're going to start with that pelvic curl. Now I want you to start by just reaching your arms over your head. Find your position. We're going to move the arms with the pelvis. We inhale here. I'm going to double check. Make sure my feet are in a good position. Inhale. As I exhale, drawing it in, lifting it up, reaching those arms. I inhale there. And exhale. Again, I breathe in. And exhale. And thinking of your spine, where is it today? Tight spots, breathing in. And exhale all the way. Again, we breathe in. And moving the bones of my body, moving the pelvis, making sure at the top I'm not anteriorly tilting. Inhale. And let's do two more. We breathe in. And inhale. And last one, inhale, and hold that position, take the arms up to the ceiling, and gently roll down, but keep your scapula on the mat. Turn the palms towards each other, a little bit of scapular abduction and adduction. Inhale, I want you to reach those arms, move the scapula, arms respond. Exhale, return. Again, inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Last two. Inhale. And one more. And adduction. 
Now finding your neutral position of the scapula, reach your arms out to a T. If you're on a raised platform, you can go ahead and bend the elbows, grab onto the side, whichever works for your body. Draw those knees into your tabletop position, just slightly more hip flexion than 90 degrees. As I inhale, I'm going to take those legs over, extend them, bring them back, and bend. Other side, over, extend, and bend. Again, over, not letting my abdominals go, keeping that containment. Again, over, and reach, and lift. Again, two more sets, and reach, and draw it back. One more, over, reach, and we're gonna do one more set. Need one more, my body's telling me. Reach, lift, last one, over, and reach, and lift. Bring your legs to tabletop and then lower them down. Both legs at the same time. Keep those abdominals in and then float them up. Again, we inhale, we exhale. We inhale, we exhale. And three. And two. And one. Reach those arms all the way behind you. Go into your hundreds, prep, inhale, exhale, and body lowers. Again, and lower, and lift, and return. Again, and reach, and bring it back. Two more like that. I lift, I reach. Up, and last one, reach, up, rotate to the right, here we go, reach, and lower, and lift, and center, again, reach, lower, lift, and down, again, reach, and lower, and lift, Lift the side you're going to. So I'm thinking of left side lifting. Roll. Up. And down. Two more. Lift. Lower the legs. Reach them. And one more. And lower. And lift. And down. Let's take the legs down. Slide them out. Roll up, bring your palms towards each other. We inhale, we exhale, reach the body. Go a little bit farther than maybe we usually do. Feel those abdominals and then take it back down. Again. Moving a little quicker, but still quality, still precision. And down. So we have to find it a little quicker with each movement. Inhale, and let's do three more. Reach, feel that lower back anchor before I come up. And two more. I inhale, I exhale. I inhale, I draw those abs back. And I just have to check my scapula. I can feel like I'm I feel like I'm pulling it forward a little bit too much. I'm going to put it back in home. So not there, there. And all the way down. Bring those arms all the way around, down by your hips. Draw that right knee in, up, flex it. We go into those circles. We inhale and exhale. And three. And exhale. And inhale. Other way. And one, and two, abdominals are anchored, three, pelvis is anchored, four, give me two more, five, last one, point, lower it, slide it, opposite, 
Bring it up, flex it, anchor that pelvis, inhale. Two more. Reverse. One and two. Tiny adjustments. Three as we're moving. Four. Give me two more. Five. Last one. Point. Bend. Bring that other knee in. Reach those arms. We go into our hundreds. Inhale, prepare. Exhale. We lift. We reach. Inhale, pause. And then we pump, two, three, four, five, in, two, three, four, five, three, two, three, four, five, four, two, three, four, five, five, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, four, five, seven, two, three, four, five, Eight, two, three, four, five. Nine, two, three, four, five. And ten, two, three, four, five. Hold. Lower those legs without letting go of those abdominals. Palms turn towards each other. And we roll up and pull the knees in. Rolling like a ball. Draw those feet close to you. And as you inhale, let's move that body and return again. And three, and in, and four, and in, and five. Let's do eight, six, two more. And last one. Hold. Take those hands behind the thighs. Lengthen that spine for a moment and then C curve. We roll down. We've got the abdominal series. We pull those legs in. Place them. Double leg stretch. We inhale. Two more. One more. Let's take them up. Take the hands behind the head. Dorsiflex those feet. And I want to lower them to where I can. Keep the feet flexed. Bring them up. One. And two. Keep that trunk lifting. Three. Keep those abdominals anchoring. Four. Two more. One more. Point, bend the knees, both hands on that right knee, single leg stretch. And we switch. One and two. Twelve of them. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more. One. Two, stay there, rotate to the knee in and crisscross. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more. One, two. Now reach it up and switch. One, and two, and three and four and five six seven kind of like a bicycle eight nine ten two more one two bring the legs up bring the hands down reach those legs all the way over roll over hold it there flex it Open it, lower the toes, and roll, and swing it around again. Flex, open, lower, and again. 
relax it, open it. Give me three more. Flex, open, lower. And last two. Flex, open, lower. And last one. Flex, open, lower. And roll. Draw those knees in. Bring those feet down. I'm going to scoot back just a little bit. And let's go into our shoulder bridge. As we exhale, we curl. So we're going to do the full shoulder bridge. I want you to think of pressing that pelvis straight up to the ceiling. Right leg draws in, up, exhale. Three, power. Four, five, six, two more, seven, last one. And point, bend, lower. Other side, tabletop, reach. Three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and last one, eight. Hold it there, point the foot, but keep the leg up. Lower it down. Draw that other leg in. We're going to do our scissors and bicycle. So we're going to bring those legs out. Inhale, exhale. Now bend the knees, place the hands right on that pelvis, and then anteriorly tilt. So sitting in those palms, lift that sternum up, reach those legs, and now we have right leg to you. Four, and three, and two, and one. Now switch it, bicycle, bend that knee, even if it can't touch the floor, that's okay. And two, and three, and four, and five. Let's do one more. Reverse it, one, and two, and three. I have to find the floor, four. Five, last one, six, and bring those legs up, bend those knees, go into a tuck, arms come down, legs reach out, roll it down into your teaser, bring it down, and up, hold, bend the knees, bend the knees, but stay lifting, and let it go, sit up nice and tall, open the legs, we go into our spine stretch forward. So reach those arms, get right up on those sit bones, inhale there as we exhale. Now on this inhale, I wanna maintain this flexion, just tip my pelvis forward, bring my pelvis back, and then roll it up. Inhale. And then pelvis, but I'm going to keep that trunk in that same position and all the way up. Again, breathe in and and pelvis and bring it up. Let's do one more time. Breathe in and. Inhale and exhale all the way. Reach those arms out to your T. We go into our bassy saw. We inhale. We exhale. We reach and trunk. Other side. Rotate and reach. Come up and center. Again. Rotate. Reach. Come up and center. And rotate and lengthen. Reach it up 
and center. Two more sets. Lift as you rotate. Reach. Come up and center and rotate and reach and up and one more set. Rotate, reach, come up and last time rotate, reach, come up and center. Slide those legs, turn those palms, spine twist. Breathe in as we exhale. Get taller and make that second pulse maybe a little farther. And pulse, pulse, and pulse, pulse, and pulse, pulse, and lift, lift, and reach, reach. Let's do two more. And rotate. One more set. Rotate. Last time. Rotate. Rotate, lift, bring those arms up, stretch forward, and then roll it down. Corkscrew, advance, draw those knees in, extend the legs. Over, I'm gonna take my legs over to my right. I'm gonna come down, up, and other side. Again, swivel in those hips, around, and rotate, and rotate, last one, rotate, stay there, we go into our control balance, so we're going to bring those feet down. Take the arms around either to the ankle or the calf, whatever works best for you. And now take your right leg up, left leg will stay down. Two pulses, one, two, and switch. One, two, and switch. Switch it, switch. I think hip extension with this top leg. Hip, hip extension. Last one. Stay there, get a little longer, and then bring it down. Roll. Hands are still on the feet, or the ankles, or the calves. Take them to the outside of the feet. Bend the knees for a moment. And straighten. Again, bend. And give me two more. And, and one more time. And then bend the knees, take the hands behind the thighs, bring your body all the way up. Spin around quadruped position. Hands and knees. So the arms are shoulder distance. Make sure we're not hyperextending in those elbows. We go right into our plank position. I'm just gonna check mine. We're there. Feet are hip distance apart. Spine is long. Slight abduction with my scapula. Right foot will point. I exhale, lift it up. Two, three, four, five. Give me six. Other side, reach. One. Two, three, strong body, four, five, six, lower it down, push-ups, one, and up, two, and up, three, and up, four, and up, two more, five, last one, six, and now bend the knees, sit back for a moment, Hold, breathing in, roll it up, spin those legs around, and we go into our hip circles prep. So we're going to take the hands behind, we bring it in, we lift it up, find the upper back, two, let's do five to the right, inhale, one, 
and two, and three, and four. One more is five. Other way, and one, and two, and three, and four. One more. Five. Bend the knees. Lower it down, flex it, stretch, and roll it back. Hands go behind the head, neck pull. My least favorite exercise in the whole wide world. Here we go, so I need to do it. We inhale, we lift up, over. I come up, I hinge, I curl again. Feel that neck pull, I feel that length, and down, again. I'm trying to keep those elbows back, I really am. And up, and length, and down, last two. So we could say we did it, over, and we'll get it, we have a lifetime. And down, last one. I think I'm going up and over. Here's the up. Here's the over. And up. We hinge and down. Roll over onto your side. Face me. We go into our side kicks. So I have my little sticky pad here in case I need it. I think I'm okay so far. I'm going to come up onto that elbow. I'm going to make sure my trunk is solid, stable. Take the hands behind the head, not quite in the position I need to be. And now I'm going to lift the leg up, top leg, flex it, two kicks forward, and back, and forward, and back, and front, and back, and five, and back, and six, and back. Two more, seven, and back, and eight, and back. Bring it center. Here we go. We've got our side bend. Let's do two and two. Two side bend, two twist. I'm going to grab my little sticky because my hands are a little slippery. That's good right there. I want you to think of lifting the pelvis up, not taking your trunk that way. Straight up. As I inhale, up. Side bend over, I lift those hips. I come back to that side bend, finding my position, and down. I go up, over, and reach, and twist. We go lift, and my socks are a little slippery. Up, uh, my sticky's not working, that's okay, and down. And up, and rotate, and reach. That's two, stay there. Bring it in, side kicks kneeling. Find your position, press this pelvis forward, lift the leg up, flex it, and two kicks forward. One, two, and back, and front, and back, and front. And back, and four, and back. Let's do six, five, and back, and six, and back. Bring it back to center. Bring it in. Let's go directly to that other side. Bring your sticky with you if you need it. So we did eight side kicks. We'll do that on this side. Lift it, activate it all the way down to that glute. Take the other hand behind, and we lift the leg. Just gonna take a look, flex it, two kicks forward. One, two, and back, and two, and back, and three, and back, and four, and back. Keep lifting, five, and back, trunk, six, and back, and seven, and back, last one is eight. 
bend back, bring it in, cross it, come on up. Two side bends, two twists. Try not to stop the movement. We lift straight up, we find it, and then we arc it, but we don't rotate it. We go back and down, again, reach and over and lift and into your twist. We go up, we rotate. Use the back extensors, use the abdominals, de-rotate, but connect it. And down, last one. Up and reach. And back and bring that bottom knee in. Find it, press that pelvis forward. Readjust that hand if you need it. And take that other leg up. Flex it, six kicks. One, two, and back. And two, and back. And three, and back. And four, and back. Two more, five, back. Last one, six, and back. Now bring it back to center. Lower, come into your quadruped position. I won't need that, I'm gonna to toss it. And give me a few cat stretches. And through your neutral, thoracically extend the spine. And again, we go through that neutral, into that deep flexion, and then upper back. But still the abdominals are active. And then I want you to bring it back to your neutral. Now, you're gonna take your hands down to your forearms and interlace them. Feet, find your plank. I want you to think length in your body. Length, length, length. And now gently, the knees will lower, the feet will relax, the pelvis will tuck, and we come into our single leg kick. And I'm just readjusting, finding my position. Open the shoulders, lift the sternum, lift the legs, right leg, breathe in. Exhale, two kicks, one, two, and, and kick, and kick, and kick, and kick. And if you want a breath, inhale, and inhale, and exhale, but keep the body lifted, and inhale, and exhale, and exhale, slight hip extension the entire time. Exhale, and exhale, and inhale, and inhale, and exhale. Two more sets, inhale, and inhale, and exhale. One more set, inhale, and inhale, and exhale, and exhale. Now reach those legs, reach them, keep them reaching. Simply reach your arms all the way out. I'm gonna scoot back a little bit, all the way out. We go right into our swimming, right arm, left leg, and then we have our inhale and exhale. Three, four, five, in, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, in, two, three, four, five. I think shoulder flexion more than back extension. And inhale, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, four, two, three, four, five, out. And five, two, three, four, five, out. And six, two, three, four, five, out. Hundreds and seven, two, three, four, five, out. And eight, two, three, four, five, out. We can do this. And nine, two, three, four, five, out. Ten, two, three, four, five, out. Two, three, four, five, power. Reach those arms all the way. Interlace the fingers, float them up, come to the left side of your face, drop the elbows, legs are still lifted, three kicks, one, two, three, double leg kick, other way, reach, again, and length, again, reach, and reach last set. Reach last time. Reach, hold, lower the legs, bend the elbows, 
swan dive prep. Then we lift up. Legs can be separate, but still feel the act. adductors working. And up. And down. And two more. Up. And lift those legs. Lift. One more up. Lower the legs, pull back, stretch it out, breathe, and roll it up. We know what's coming. We cannot have a mat class without our teasers, so let's just do it. Let's do it. So, three teaser ones, three teaser twos, three teaser threes. You guys know the drill. I'm just going to get out of this little crack. All right, so teaser one. Let's find it. We've done it. All right, bring the legs in and up. Bring the arms up, bring the legs up. Find that position and keep those legs there. And then roll. And be strong. You know you can do it. Again, this is two. We only have three of each. And roll. And go contract. One more. Down. And back. And in. And up. Now hold that. Legs only. Little. One. And up. And two. And up. Last one, three. And up, give me those teaser threes. Roll. And back. And roll. And lift, take a chance. If you fall, that's okay. That's how you improve. Every time I fall, I get better. Two. And up, 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 up. And one more. Ah, and roll up, lifting, lifting, lift, bend the knees, cross them. We go into our crab. Now, if going over onto the top of the head is contraindicated, you are going to simply come up to this height, but this is it. So we're going to roll back, hopefully. I have room behind me. I need to make sure I have room in front of me. I think I'm good. Inhale, I roll, I straighten the legs, switch them, pull them in, I come up and over. Again, I roll, reach, switch, in, up, and gently. Again, and roll, switch. And I don't want to hit my risers. <laughs> and one more. And roll. Take those legs straight. Switch them in, up, over. Stay there. Roll back. Take a seat. As we begin, legs come together. Or feet come together. Let the legs just open. And take a few breaths there. Breathe in. And breathe out. And Hope we got our heart rates going a little bit. A little bit more cardiovascular there. Kept it moving. Gently roll it up. Sit nice and tall. And thank you very much. See you next time. Bye-bye.